Hello everyone! Thank you for joining us for a new Berta Style video. Today we will be presenting the model 102 from the January 2023 issue of Berta Style. Together we will make this casual straight cut jacket that features a zipper, dropped shoulders and a standing collar to keep your neck nice and warm. You can also keep your hands protected from the cold with these in-seam pockets. To create a fresh and feminine streetwear style, we've opted for this powder pink wool bouclette for the fabric, this printed viscose crepe for the lining, and a rhinestone trimming to cover the zipper. All these items are from Mondial Tissu. In addition to your usual sewing supplies and fabric, you will need interfacing and a separating zipper that has been shortened if necessary. I have already cut out pieces 21 to 29 according to the cutting layout, transferred the necessary notches, and added interfacing to the pieces 22, 24, and 26 as indicated in the instructions of the magazine. Now I can move on to sewing the pieces together with the Excellence 680 Plus Sewing Machine by Elna. I start with the shoulders and sides. I pin the shoulders of the front bodice to the shoulders of the back bodice right sides together. Then I stitch them starting from notch 1 as I gently hold on to the back shoulder. Now I press the seam open. I pin the side edges of the back and front bodices right sides together and stitch starting from notch 2, making sure to leave the pockets open between the markings. I press the seam open, then pin the fabric pocket onto the back allowance right sides together, making sure the pocket notches and opening markings match up before I stitch. I then pin the pocket lining onto the front allowance right sides together, once again making sure the notches match up before I stitch. I pin the pockets stitch, and press them towards the front. Now the second step, the outer collar and the zipper. I pin the outer collar to the neckline right sides together, making sure the collar notches match up with the shoulder seams. Then I stitch the allowances together starting from notch 5. I clip the curves and press the seam open. I open the zipper and place the right side on the edge of the front of the jacket, one centimeter from the collar seam line. Then I pin it to the jacket and fold the upper part of the ribbon. Now I baste the zipper. I do the same thing for the other half of the zipper. The third step, the inner collar and facing. I pin the shoulders of the facing and a stitch starting from notch 6. Now I press the seams open. I pin the inner collar to the neckline of the facing, right sides together, making sure the collar notches and shoulder seams match up. I stitch the allowances starting from notch 5, clip the curves, and press the seam open. Now I place the facing with the collar onto the jacket right sides together and pin the front and outer edges of the collar. I stitch the allowances as I hold on to the zipper with the seam by using a zipper foot. Then I stitch until the inner edge of the facing. I trim the corners and press the allowances towards the facing then top stitch close to the seam as far as I can go. Now the fourth step, the hem and sleeves. I fold the jacket's hem allowance towards the wrong side of the fabric as I press it, then I sew it with loose stitches by hand. I fold the sleeves in half, pin the allowances, stitch them starting from notch 3, and press the seam open. I place the sleeves in the armholes of the jacket right sides together, making sure the sleeve seam matches up with the side seam, that notches 4 match up, and that the shoulder seam matches up with the sleeve notch. Then I pin the allowances. I stitch them, 
then press them towards the sleeve. I then press the allowance of the sleeve hem to the wrong side and sew it with loose stitches by hand. Now, the last step, the lining. I stitch the back pleat according to the pattern, then stitch and press the seams of the lining's shoulders, sides, and sleeves. I fold the lining's hem allowance one centimeter towards the wrong side as I press. I do the same thing for the lining's sleeve ends. I place the lining on the jacket, right sides together, and then pin the allowances of the lining and interfacing. Now I stitch, starting and finishing 10 centimeters from the hem. I press the seam towards the lining, then turn the jacket so that the wrong side of the lining faces the wrong side of the jacket. I sew the facing to the shoulder seams, and sew the lining to the hem of the jacket and sleeves by hand. I also sew the open seams at the bottom of the facing close. To finish, I gently press the lining towards the bottom of the jacket and sleeves so that it forms a small fold. And here it is, the jacket is finished. Modern, practical, soft, and warm, this jacket has everything you need to stay snug and cozy this winter. You can also wear the model year round by sewing it from a lightweight fabric. Let your imagination run wild and create a jacket that matches your style. Follow us on social media, sign up for our newsletter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our news or videos. See you soon for a new tutorial. Berta Style would like to thank and recommend its sewing machine partner, Elna. Thank you for following us and see you soon for a new Berta Style video.